Driving from the objective are some fundamental qualitative characteristics of high-quality financial reporting information. These are the characteristics that the boards seek to maximize when they set standards. The two primary or the two fundamental qualitative characteristics are relevance and faithful representation. The new cha- this is in the language from the new chapter of the, f- the framework that was just issued a couple of months ago. In the old framework, we referred to relevance and reliability. The term faithful representation replaces the term reliability largely because the board concluded that although everyone seemed to have a very firmly held view about the word, what the word reliability meant, those views were diverse and inconsistent across our constituents. In addition, many of the meanings of the word reliability that constituents had were not the meaning that the board intended them to have. The the primary meaning of reliability in the old framework in the board's view was faithful representation. As a result, they've changed the word to faithful representation. Relevance says that the item is capable of making a difference to a financial statement user one of our user groups. If it's not capable of changing their economic decision, it's irrelevant, and there's, we don't need it in financial reports. So relevance is extremely important. Relevance has three characteristics. First of all, it has predictive value, and this means that the item helps in a predictive process. It doesn't mean that the item itself is predictable. Depreciation expense is predictable from period to period. That's not the question. The question is, does depreciation expense have predictive value with respect to something the investor, lender, or other creditor is attempting to predict, such as the value of the entity, the value of the amount of timing and uncertainty of future cash flows, those types of things. Something that's relevant also has confirmatory value. That says when we see the item today, we can look back in time and determine whether what we see today confirms or disconfirms what we believed about the past. This also helps in assessing the extent to which the information has predictive ability. So these two really go hand in hand. The board has put materiality in as a, as a uh, dimension of relevance. And materiality says something is material if it, in fact, is very similar definition to relevance, that if it is capable of making a difference. If something is not capable of making a difference, it's too small to worry about, then it's immaterial. And the reason there's, this slide says entity-specific is that the board concluded that the it, the board, cannot determine materiality when it sets a standard. Materiality depends on the specific situation of the entity. Something that is highly material, very, very important, very relevant for one entity could be completely immaterial for another entity. And it is only the entity, in the context of the entity, can the decision be made as to whether something is material or not material. If it's not material, no one cares about it, and therefore it is unimportant. Facial representation, the other fundamental qualitative characteristic, also has three components. One is completeness, and this is faithful representation. says that the item represents what it purports to represent. So it faithfully represents whatever it is we're talking about, an asset or a liability or whatever. So the first one is completeness. We want a complete representation, and this is in terms of both numbers and words. So it encompasses both the number that's recognized in the financial statements as well as the disclosures about it. So we want a complete dis- depiction of the, whatever it is we're trying to represent. The second component is neutrality. Neutrality says something is unbiased. We want financial reporting to provide an unbiased view of the financial position and results of operations for any particular entity. We don't want bias in one way or the other because if we bias information, biased information impairs its relevance its predictive value and its usefulness overall. So for something to be faithfully represented, it should be represented neutrally. 
freedom from error. This is a, a, a uh, chapter noted, notes that this is an ideal to which we strive. It never will never ever be totally free from error, but faithful represented information are is is free from error, and therefore the closer we can come to this ideal, the better we will be, the better the information will be.